Welcome back to Jero Dynamics. Okay, so I didn't think this was going to be my uh, next video after filming all those other videos previously. Uh, I thought that the uh, sorcery um, um, Arthurian legends uh, would be the next video. Unfortunately, that's been stuck in the mail since like October 5th. And so I'm kind of waiting on that. And once I get that, then I'll do some cool uh, sorcery, a uh, cool sorcery opening and showing some stuff from there. But I do have some secret layers that came in. Um, I also have a couple of the nightmare bundles coming in that I'll be doing uh, videos for once they get here. And uh, some other non-magic related uh, videos. So hopefully you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and open these up here. I didn't get all of them. Um, but I did order some, and they came pretty quickly. I was I was rather surprised. So here we go. Let's take a look at the Ghostbusters secret lair. Ooh, thank you for being a part of secret lair. Very nice, very nice. All right. I think this doesn't have, like, a surprise bonus card. I think uh, everybody got the same one, but let's take a look. All right, there's Slimer. All right, let's get the uh, focus going here. Slimer, he is the Mimeoplasm. Um, and I do think I'm going to build this. I think it'd be fun, um, just especially with Slimer <laughs> in the command zone. I think that'd be fun. All right, we have a Slimed, which is a Trick Bind, which uh, they have uh, they have <laughs> Bill Murray's face covered. So, uh, so as not to pay royalties, I would imagine. <laughs> All right, we have Slimer's Feast, which is Windfall. Kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know, a, a little weird on the uh, use of cards versus the, uh, the, the IP of Slimer. <laughs> but I guess I could put it in the deck, so it's all good. All right, Escape Containment is a... In, um, in, sorry... Incarnation Technique. Sorry, not Incarceration, but Incarnation Technique. Then we have Pernacious Deed. Very fun, very fun. Just labeling it Pernacious Deed instead of giving it a fun title. And then Slimer and Stay Puff is the, uh, is the bonus card. I believe that's the same for everybody. And um, yeah, I could see uh, building this too or putting it in there or, you know, doing something with it. Um, it's a definitely a unique uh, deck to build, <laughs> Slimer and Stay Puff, which is Yargle and Multani, a vanilla, a very large vanilla creature. All right, moving right along. This is the uh, um, Monstrous Magazines, Rainbow Foil. I usually get Rainbow Foil. Um, the next one I'm going to open is actually not because they were already out of it in foil. And I kind of liked it, so I thought, you know, I'll just get the, uh, the non-foil version of it. A little dry in the mouth. Just got through seeing a bunch of concerts, so a little dehydrated uh, from from all the the pitting. <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, horrors uh, from across the plain. This is a doom whisperer. I'm very old, but I finally got back into the pit for the first time in forever. It was fun. All right, horrors from across the plain. Ravenous chupacabra. The coma. Um, Cosmos Serpent, Legendary uh, Creature Serpent. I think there's like a misprint on this uh, as far as the rules text goes. Horrors, so if you use that card, make sure to have the uh, errata uh, or the real version of the rules. All right, uh, uh, Mazrek Crawl. I like that a bunch of these are, are legendary, so you could build them... Um, build them as a commander themselves. That's or not a bunch. These two, the last two, huh? The first two were not. All right. Then we have Euro, which is also another legendary, very popular uh, Voltron commander, which I've still yet to build. I should. I should. And then the bonus card is Reclamation Sage in the full art foil. That's a good one, at least. Very fun. Although. 
if I'm not mistaken, wasn't there already a full art foil version of Reclamation Sage in one of the Masters? I'll have to take a look. It's probably not worth nearly as much uh, if they if they did already reprint that. So, all right, moving right along. But Reclamation Sage, it's always nice to have an, an extra copy of Reclamation Sage. Goes in decks aplenty. All right, another one of the uh, thank yous. Let's go ahead and open this up. If I'm not mistaken, this m might be the, uh, the mill one. I think that's why I wanted it. All right, let's see. All right, so Aetherize. Uh, and the art's amazing, honestly. I, I did really want this in foil, but I, I just was like, no, you know what? I like it. I'm going to get it even in non-foil. All right, so our Aether Eyes. Uh, Drown in Dream. Yes, that's the first card that mentions Mill on it. Then we have Psychic Corrosion. Yep, whenever you draw a card, each opponent mills two cards. So I'm definitely building... Um, I actually I have one or two mill decks. Um, and so these can, these can go in there. Very nice. All right. Visions of Beyond. Time Sleeve. Yep, yep, yep. And then another Reclamation Sage. So there you go. <laughs> can never have enough Reclamation Sages. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Because now I do. All right. And then the last one. We have the Tome of Astral Sorcerer. Sorceress. So yeah, I didn't get all of them. I didn't get the uh, Hatsune Miku. Um, I'm still trying to decide. I'll probably just open the other ones because I never did anything with them. And then I never got the uh, Monty Python, so I'll probably just go out and buy some singles of the Monty Python cards. All right. <clears throat> I did get the... Uh, um, the the charity one um, has the fierce guardianship in it and it's for charity so very cool all right back to basics a card they don't play often but maybe maybe uh, preordain very nice sphinx of the second sun I enjoy that to fairies ageless insight and then a viridian shaman so when viridian shaman enters the battlefield destroy target artifact very fun all right, so th those were the secret layers. Um, other than the charity ones, I think that's it for the secret layers. Um, although, you know, that could change. Uh, they are always coming out with more. I can't remember if there was any others that I had gotten. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do plan on getting, a, in November, a um, at least one, if not two, uh, boxes, play boosters of Duskmorn. Um, I have that uh, the Nightmare Bundles coming up, so plenty of Duskmorn coming out here shortly. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll keep on opening. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good day.